A new season, a new conference, and new foes. But your same fighting Texas Aggies. It was a memorable year for the Texas A&M soccer program. A 12-game undefeated streak, nearly 800 minutes of consecutive shutouts, and an SEC West Division title. These are the 10 catalyst moments that led to quite a memorable season. Number 10. During a 4-0 shutout against Ole Miss, Annie Coons put in her second goal of the game as she dribbled from midfield and unleashed a rip from 25 yards out, adding to the stifling of the Rebels. Number nine, Shea Groom lit the fuse against Alabama as she sent a shot soaring in the ninth minute from 30 yards out to the upper left corner of the net. This opened up scoring for what would later be a 5-0 wipeout of the Crimson Tide. Number eight. After Megan Strait sent a ball to Katy Perry, who was making a run downfield, Perry launched a shot from 25 yards that snuck past the keeper and into the back of the net, putting away one of the two goals of the game. Number seven. Coons shows up for a second time as she takes a ball from the corner of the box and sends a laser into the side netting to cap off a fourth goal against Rutgers. Number six. Number six comes with a goal that was more than just a point on the scoreboard. With her first goal of the season, Lee Edwards sent a prayer from 25 yards out that the keeper wasn't able to get enough of as the ball slid into the net. This goal closed the door in a win over Vanderbilt. Number five. During a skirmish against the Kentucky Wildcats, Kelly Minogue scored twice, keeping the Aggies on an unbeaten streak. Her first goal makes the top 10 as Megan Strait once again served up a ball into the box where it's met by Minogue, who put it into the back of the net. Number four. In the final regular season match against old rival Mizzou, Annie Coons managed to draw a first blood as Beth West sent a ball from the right touchline. It hit Coons in stride, who took a rip into the lower left corner, putting the Ags at an advantage in the second half. Beth just laid that ball in perfect speed. Absolutely brilliant ball and a great finish by Annie. What a goal. Number three. Playing in their first ever SEC tournament, the Aggies went into overtime during their match against South Carolina, where Jay Needy of Liverpool ended the match with the lone goal of the game. In the 94th minute, Allie Bailey charged the goal and caused a deflection off the keeper. Edie swooped in and knocked away the golden goal, sending the Aggies to the SEC semifinals. Number two. To start out their season, the Ags went to California to take down UC Irvine. Jane Eady lobbed the ball into the middle of the attacking third to Bianca Brinson, who juggled the ball twice, then sliced through two defenders and passed the keeper to the far corner for the opening goal of the 2012 season. Number one. Our number one game is the clinching goal from the final match of the regular season against Mizzou. Shea Groom took advantage of the open space on the right side of the field as she dribbled into space and slid the ball to the top of the box where senior Chelsea Jones took a one-touch rip past the keeper to the bottom left corner, ending the regular season and sending the seniors out in style. And attack here. Jones flares wide to Groom. The cross, shot, and it's in! Oh, the goal by Chelsea Jones! In their inaugural season in the SEC, the Aggies entered their new conference with a vengeance. The Maroon and White ended their season with a record of 19-5-1 and 10-2-1 in conference play. The Ags had a total of 15 shutouts, with seven of them being consecutive. They broke an SEC single season record. 
The Aggies put in 48 goals and held opponents to a school record of just 16, an average of .64 per game. And the hard work paid off as A&M brought their SEC Western Division title to Aggieland in year number one in the league. I've seen them win. I've seen them lose, but I've never seen them quit. It was a big year as the Aggies broke records and set them in 2012. And 2013 is only looking bigger.